Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 347. And to start off this week, we have some devastating news from Street Outlaws. For those that don't know, during this most recent filming for Street Outlaws America's List, Ryan Fellows unfortunately passed away during the filming. I'm not going to be going into big details and stuff with the wreck. I apologize about that for some of my viewers. As you guys know, for Street Outlaws, these videos, Street Race Talk, this is where we go into all the nitty gritty, all the little bits and pieces and all the details you could possibly imagine about Street Outlaws. Although with something like this, unprecedented for the show and simply for the privacy of his friends and family, I don't wish to speak on the crash in details in any way, shape, or form here in my video. Again, thoughts and prayers to his friends and family and rest in peace to Ryan Fellows. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking, what does this mean for the future of Street Outlaws? Which I will go into some of these details real quick. Again, the details of the crash itself, out of respect for friends and family, I do not wish to talk about that stuff at all. Although, for the future of the show, what we're going to see next, will we see it on TV? I honestly don't know. It, like I said, this is an unprecedented thing we have seen for Street Outlaws. Never before have we seen something like this. Yes, people have wrecked before, but it's never in, uh, resulted in something such as this. I assume the show will normally air, although I assume also that this part was during like one of the last filmings that took place for this show. So how they'll wrap it up, what they'll show, what'll happen... I honestly don't know. I saw Street Outlaws had posted some stuff saying uh, like their condolences and stuff to the family on social medias and stuff. Apparently they put some little thing at uh, Discovery Channel, put something on the screen on, I don't know if it wasn't on, or actually I don't see normal commercials when I watch Discovery Go. So it might've been during the most recent episode of Street Outlaws, but they put like a rest in peace thing up on the screen during uh, some airing for a show on Discovery Channel. And again, this is truly just a, just devastating thing to see. I don't know how the show will end up airing on TV, and I don't know what the future holds for shows. Will they be able to go back and film at that same spot? I don't know. Will they have races with the same rules and format in the future? I don't know. The 405 show, once again, was just finished filming. We'll touch on that later on in this week's episode for the main topic, but I don't know what the future holds for those street filmings, because I believe it was out at the street in Vegas where they have filmed multiple shows in the past, and Will they be able to use that again? What's going to be the aftermath of this? I honestly don't know. It's just a devastating thing to see. And you just, you, I mean, this is worst case scenario. This is bigger than any show, any video, any car. Like, this is the worst thing that could possibly happen. And seeing something like this, it just leaves you, like I said, absolutely gutted. If I haven't said it enough already, thoughts and prayers to the friends and family of Ryan Fellows. And rest in peace to Ryan Fellows. And transitioning on now over away from that topic. Moving on to the ratings for this past episode of Street Outlaws. Last week we were talking about Monday, August 1st, 640,000 viewers, 14th ranked overall. Looking really good, the best episode we had seen yet. But then, hey, this next week wasn't wasn't the best. Monday, August 8th, Street Outlaws Endgame, 531,000 viewers and 30th overall. Honestly, I'm shocked that the Axeman episode was the best build episode we've seen. And the JJ episode was the worst one. Seeing how Axeman kind of joined JJ's crew and is like, when I picture like Axeman and Memphis on the streets, you got Memphis as like the main parent company, you could say. And then a sub branch is like Axeman. That's kind of just how I envision it in my head. So I would assume, oh, the Memphis episode is going to do really good views. And Axeman's episode, I thought was going to be the worst one overall. Well, I was wrong, ladies and gentlemen. So far, Axeman episodes had the best ratings and JJ's episode has had the worst. I've seen some stuff of people talking about, oh, the engine JJ had in the car in that episode isn't the engine he actually raced in. And the thing is, I, I mean, does that really matter? I don't think that matters too much. There's no rules as to what engine they can put in the car. If he shows up at the race with a different engine that than he had in the car when they were building it. I don't think that really, that doesn't break any rules. I don't think, but the thing is something I thought of, I'm not positive about this is what if the first part of JJ's show was filmed before the rule change took place? As we know, there were different rules before when the show was first pitched rather than actually when the show was filmed. We saw in Kai's show, for instance, he went through multiple cars and that was a result of the rules being changed. I wonder if one of the things JJ did was after the rules were changed, they had already filmed the finished JJ's show, he made the decision to change his engine and then show up to the race with that engine instead. I think that may have been something that had happened. I could be wrong about that. That's just my assumption going into it but this past episode I mean again 
It didn't do too hot. 531,000 viewers. I mean, it's fine, but not the best. Again, the worst official episode for this show yet. Hopefully, next week's episode, ratings wise, does much better. And I'm really looking forward to this next week's episode because it's going to be Sean building his car. And we've seen some little tidbits and previews of his car for like the commercial we've seen for the race aspect of the show sean built an awesome car and i cannot wait to see them build it on this next episode of street outlaws endgame and moving on over now to some other unfortunate news i've seen that limpy is unfortunately in the hospital right now if you guys want some details in regards to this he made a post on facebook head over to limpy's facebook page he still was said he was editing and uploading videos so there are still our new videos on his youtube channel as well but again thoughts and prayers to limpy hope all is well with him and hopefully he has a quick and speedy recovery with everything that he has going on and now let's transition on now into i said now twice now three times three now fourth oh my god i keep saying it let's transition into the main topic for this week's episode of street race talk and it is street filmings for street outlaws and what the future holds for them as we know during july the whole plan was to film street outlaws fastest in america street outlaws endgame and street outlaws the 405 show all three of which were filmed and completed endgame is currently airing on tv right now and we'll see the stuff filmed during july shortly on tv the fastest in america show i assume will air sometime beginning of next year end of this year and the 405 show i'm almost positive will be the show to kick off this next year 2023 just how it kicked off 2022 and 2021 but what is in store after that as we know for the kind of schedule for the remainder of the year for street outlaws on tv after the current show Endgame will most definitely be No Prep Kings. That'll run. And my guess is when No Prep Kings is done, if No Prep Kings ends before the end of the year, they'll put in Fastest in America there, then kick off the year with the 405 show. Or No Prep Kings runs till the end of the year. 405 show kicks off the start of next year. Then after that, they will play Fastest in America or play Fastest in America on a Tuesday night or alongside another show on a Monday night, as we have seen them do in the past. Although, when is the next filming what are they gonna film next i think all of us are kind of assuming right now we will see another season of street outlaws america's list that's the biggest show they've got they've got guys from all different shows coming together does pretty good ratings wise and it seems like a lot of fans really enjoy that show so i assume there will be another filming for that but when will that take place when will we see that i honestly don't know as we currently sit right now the current status for filmings right now is no prep kings until October or November. Will they try and cram them into filming before the holiday season? I don't know. We will just have to wait and see for that. But my best guess right now is the next time we'll see a filming for Street Outlaws is going to be just how we saw America's List this past year, right at the start of next year, while the 405 show is airing on TV. But Street Outlaws Fastest in America, Street Outlaws Endgame, and Street Outlaws the 405 show have all wrapped up their filmings for July concluding the current schedule we ha i guess it's a schedule we have of street outlaw filmings when the next one will be i don't know we will just have to wait and see and that is all for this week's episode of street Race talk ladies and gentlemen i thank you all so very much for watching ttve make sure you click that little bell turn notifications on so you do not miss a single video that upload all my videos up live at 6 p.m central standard time and make sure you guys tune in on monday night at 6 50 p.m central standard time where we will be going live here on my channel watching the new episode of street outlaws and again we'll get to see sean building his dock it's gonna be such a good episode and I cannot wait for it. Make sure you check out my store. First link down below the description where you can check out some Street Race Talk, some Betsy merch that we have available. I've also set up a P.O. box. So if you guys would like to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. But like I said, that is all. Thank you so very much for watching TTVE. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great week this weekend or looking forward to a great weekend this weekend. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SamusXYZ. Make sure you follow me on TikTok at SamusXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim, ABC, XYZ, signing out. Out.